A couple of days ago, uh, I finally got round to signing myself up to iTunes U so I could um, give it a go and have a look at how the course manager works. And it turns out it's very, very straightforward. You need an Apple ID to sign up for it, uh, and you need to be using the Safari browser. Once you've um, put your, um, your user ID in, you will be asked for some information about yourself, um, you know, what your institution is, um, a little biography and things like that. And once you've done, you're there f then free to create um, your, your new course. So I've created this course here, um, Photoshop Album Covers. Um, it's just a little test one really, but I'll show you what it looks like. So if I click on that, um, you get a chance to obviously do a number of different things. So first of all, you can change the settings here so you can do what the course name is, what department it is, a little description of the course as well as the course image. If I go back to info, you have information about your instructor, so there's me, um, and then you have an outline here. Now I've only made this very brief, um, but you can have, it depends on how big your course is, but you can have as many um, different sections as you as you like to this outline. So I've only got one with three um, subheadings, but you can have um, you can have far more than that. Um, I'm going to skip posts for a second and just go into materials, and this is how, where you upload all your materials. So um, you can click down here, add materials from your computer, add an iTunes store link, um, add a web link, um, and then choose other materials that you may have you may have uploaded, and you can filter them all um, down here like this. So what I've done is I've uploaded some audio of me describing what the course is going to be about. I have a web link here that goes to uh, a presentation on Google Docs uh, which contains uh, the learning objectives, learning outcomes and a number of other different resources there. I've got an example of what the final album cover should look like and a number of video tutorials that I've uploaded. Once I've uploaded these, now obviously it depends on how big they are, um, depends on how long it takes to upload, you can click the info button, click edit and then you can add um, as many, much detail as you want about each one. So let's have a look at this. Uh, there we go. So name, album cover, author, speaker, and description. Then you can you can choose a license down here. You can share it um, by if I click on this button here, which I'm not going to do because um, I don't want you to see all the people who have subscribed. Click on that, and then there is a share button there, and it allows you to uh, it gives you a a code in which you can give to your students or a, a, a link that you can simply email them. And then what they do is they click on that link, or they add that code into um, iTunes U, for instance, on the iPad, and they can then enroll. And on this section here, you get a, um, a list of all of those who have enrolled, and you can manage them in any way you want. Once you've got some people that have enrolled, you can, have a, you can send them posts. So you can add a new post here, and basically what that can do is you push information to them um, and you can choose what topic you're using. So I've only got one, which is a learning objective, but if you had more than one, you could choose from list. You can type a message in here and if you wanted to, you could send them an assignment. So it might be that time um, that you want them to hand an assignment in or give them an assignment. You can attach additional material down there and essentially that's pushed to all of those students who have um, enrolled in your course. As you can imagine, it's very, very easy. It is, it is a little time consuming um, when you want to upload everything, but you know, you can just start uploading and, and have a cup of tea if you really want to.